Hi all. Right, I've come straight back just now. I uh, forgot to show uh, the two new cards that I'm going to draw. That, that's my hand up to now. And the good thing about not playing that um, extra combat tag at the tank battalion is I've still got three cards. We're shuffling back the core artillery. So there's a chance I might get the core artillery again and still have one card in my draw pile. So enabling me to shuffle it back in again, but we shall see. Right, well there's the 8 core card, and ooh, right, well it doesn't have an event anyway, it's got artillery. We're wondering about the possible getting an air power. Ah, oh, great, <laughs> I've left the core artillery sitting in the draw pile. Um, uh, okay, and that's combat tactic tank battalion as well. Uh, oh well, we, was, well, we didn't have any air power anyway, so... We would have had to use the 21st Army Group card to gain that, but yeah, I feel that that was worthwhile. Right, okay, I'm going to draw for the German Impulse. I'm not that sure I'm going to have time to like, uh, keep it all going through the Impulse. We, we'll see. Uh, I'll not make any difference. Well, it might make some difference, because if I have to cut the video and I think maybe... This is the end of a part, and I'm halfway through the German impulse, and I suppose that might have an effect. I'll try and avoid that if I can. Okay, let's see what we're getting. I'm, I'm fearing the worst this time. Surely something's got to come in, coming out this time. Okay, there we go. 47th. And six pans are on me, right? Okay, well, we knew it was going to start happening, so <clears throat> this is going to be the command card. This is going to be the support card. Um, no event on this. Um, the it gives uh, artillery and assault coordination though, so we need to keep that in mind. So we've got assault coordination in the support car box. Forty seven core. They're going to activate. Um, yeah. Yeah, I figured I probably shouldn't have drawn the cards because <laughs> I thought, uh, I've got a feeling I might not have the time or the energy to do the others. You know, they're all over the place as well. Uh, would it be better to just leave it like looking at what's coming rather than start looking at some units? I think it might be. Let me just pause and think about if I've got the uh, the ability to carry on at the moment. Uh, no, I think it would be better to leave this till, uh, till tomorrow, hopefully I can get a little bit of a shot tomorrow. Um, so I'll try and not have this uh, at the end of the video. Um, pretty sure I can leave this but so this starts the next turn. Yeah, I've got, I've got two or three wee bits there that I could probably put together and just uh, this can be the start of the next uh, video. Although you've seen the two cards that are coming. Um, should be quite exciting when they happen. Okay, um, I'll pause just now, guys, and I'll get back to you tomorrow, okay? Cheers. Hi, all. Um, right, I was hoping to have time to like, go right through these two next German impulses, well, the next two German cards anyway, as we know they were these two, but um, I'm not so sure I've got that much time, but however, I'll just, as usual, I'll just put the, uh, join the video up with this, with this one if I didn't get very far. Um, one little comment recently I got from Martin um, regarding the combat here, this was a good one he picked up. Um, I didn't notice it at all, so he did say it was it was correct to not roll because it was a pointless roll anyway. But um, <laughs> I never picked up on it. Um, it's when I was considering this unit um, to attack either here or here, and then the odds worked out that I mean if he attacked here, he was getting support from this unit, but he was coming across the river attacking here, so it worked out the better odds were attacking here. So. He did that, and it sorry, 
he went to check if he could do that and the check failed. So now he can't, he, he was the lead unit, he can't then check another unit. So he couldn't be the lead unit and check this again. However, he, this could be the lead unit and this guy could still be involved in the check because he's, cause he's adjacent to this unit. Um, like I say, if this unit hadn't been here, then he couldn't do a check on this and fail and then do a check on that and fail. Um, and likewise, a unit can only be checked once, so this unit couldn't do, uh, well, let's say for instance, no, that wouldn't work. You know, a, a unit couldn't be checked twice, shall we say. Anyway. So he checked here and failed, so what I then should have done was this unit was eligible to become a lead unit and check here, and he would have got the support from this unit. So, but uh, as Martin pointed out, and I could have got away with it if I just if I just not said nothing, uh, the the odds weren't uh, uh, good enough because this is um, three and this would only be two, so it'd be five against four, and situationally you get a plus one for being adjacent to supply general unit. So it's five against five, so the odds are one to one. However, um, he would need to have rolled a, a zero because even a one is cancel if only defender a wheat or only defender armor. So this is a defender armor. So even if I rolled a one here, now was he getting any modifiers, Martin? I'm assuming you checked that as well then, and he wasn't getting any modifiers. Uh, there wasn't a support card, was there? No, no, because we used that for consolidation. Could that be right? So I don't think we had the support card in box. So yeah, so there was no modifiers to, for the chance of me rolling a one and reduce it to a zero. So. Um, the best I could roll was a one, and that still would have uh, failed the, the check. But um, yeah, glad you brought that one up, Martin, because it is an easy one to sort of uh, forget about, as I did there. Eh? I just thought, right, what's this unit going to check? Either this one or this one, then I, I forgot. And to be honest, to be honest, I never even went back and looked at the possibility of this unit checking this. Um, although the odds there are worse. But, uh, you know, maybe if I'd looked at that, I might have then realised that, oh, hold on, he can support this check as well. But, however. Okay, so, um, yeah, good one it brought up, man. Well well done. I like that one. Um, so, let's move on then. So, we'll get some of this started at least. We're going to get into the, the meaty stuff now. So, the 47th are going to activate. So, I'll just swing the camera around. Yeah, so 47th are everywhere. Um, a couple down at Bastogne here. A couple up here in... Is that to a pawn, isn't it? A couple up there. Uh, there's one away up here, here, and then these guys here, which are... Well, we're the big sort of threat, but um, we've got we've got a, a good few allied units around that area now, though, but they certainly will um, probably get up to some mischief. Um, okay, so, any roadblocks adjacent? Now, we had a roadblock still, didn't we? Yeah, it's in here, though, so no no issues with roadblocks then. Um, where's, my, where's my page? Um, objective marker, that's it. So, yeah, we already decided that... Um, this can, because I think we had a unit proximate to it at one point, didn't we? Not now though, but um, uh, you will have to actually reach that hex before it then moves uh, north up, up up to the north of the map. So that's going to stay put. Um, right, so we're going to start making some moves. So we'll get things started at least, and then I might have to pause. But like I say, that'll just be a, a join in the film. So. Right, I'll go and have a wee look and see where we're going to start. Yeah, this is a look. Uh, we're quite close to getting adjacent to the Muse. So this is the special Muse 1B. And uh, remember, they don't need to follow the restrictions in 9.21. Um, not quite though, I've got... Well, this, this guy's surrounded, so he can't break through. Or he would probably be able to get through to the Muse that way. Um, this unit here... He's, my, mind you, he's but having a break zone of control to move to start with, isn't he? And it's three, so it'd be four to move in there, so five. He's one hex away, but far too much movement. I suppose this guy was a possible. He can go one, two, three, four, 
five. So he's gonna, he is just one movement short of that. Um, the other one, I think having to get across the river though is his problem, isn't it? One, yeah, there's no other way across that river. So, fortunately, I'm glad we've got this unit in Ufe, but uh, he could find himself under a bit of threat within this next turn as well, because six Panzer Army card in the support card box. Um, I think I'd really like to see that used for a, a combat tactic, to be honest, I think. Um, yeah, well, we'll see that just... Maybe be a luck. Um, actually, while I'm looking at that unit, I suppose I should do this. And I wish, wish there was a, a little bit. You know, what it says remove. Um, I know maybe it's it's a bit too much to add to the rules, but I'm just looking at when you activate the units. It, it says uh, remove any roadblock markers adjacent to allied units. It'd be nice if something said there like check bridges adjacent to to your units, and you might be able to, you know. Whether that's a bit, like, I'm asking for a bit too much, but it's one that I always forget. So, there's no unit across this bridge. This unit's active, so he, he gains control of that bridge. Um, there's probably gonna be a few more, actually. Well, let's see one more, anyway. Uh, this unit here, just outside, uh, this bridge here, just outside Twapon. There's a lots, of, lots of bridges around about that one, but that one hadn't been taken. Um, let me see, is there any more? I've got that one, there's none there. And the two units in Basso, no, I think I think that's it. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not quite able to reach the move, but pretty close, closer than I thought, because the Muse comes, I mean, the main, I don't want to zoom out, but I don't want to see the bigger picture. It comes from here, and goes up to Nanmuir, and then it, Move that. So it comes up to Namur and then it goes east uh, and then up to Liege. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. I mean, this river coming down here must be a different river. Uh, although it actually joins up to the Meuse, this is the Meuse. I mean, it is marked, it's marked there, Meuse River. Zoom in on that if you may. Uh, right, okay, sorry, I got cut off there with a phone call. Uh, right, so we're showing you the the Muse River uh, and just where it's marked there. Where are we? Yeah, it's there, you can see it. Muse River. So it, it runs runs from Liège down there and then it heads south when it gets to Namur. And I think there's another marking to show this. Yeah. Way down just beside GV. You can see it's marked Muse River. That's only markings for any of the rivers, um, so I guess we're just to assume that. I think actually, I think it maybe it talks about maybe that at the beginning of the the rule book. Um, uh, okay, so I don't think any of the units can reach. Like I say, I've had a wee look there, um, but they're quite close. So I'll I'll look up, move on to the next uh, movement methods and see if there's anything else. Okay, so we've got a couple couple units that can move the movement method two. Move the X both closer to the unit's army objective and adjacent to allied VP hex. Um and the lowest selector actually the lowest selector number we've got. Uh, we've got unit f we've got a four which is along there. I know that's just off camera, but um he's already adjacent. Oh that's a point. Would he move would he try and move to another No, nah, you know what? He's He's not going to be able to anyway. I could always pop back to him anyway. I know I'm meant to do them in order, but I'll just have a wee look since we've got the camera here. Uh, this unit can definitely go one, two, three, four, adjacent to Ufe. Um, I think one of them, or was that not? I think it was him that was restricted before because I think he was maybe leaving Twapong. Now we've got an infantry unit in there as, as well now. I think that infantry unit came along and sort of relieve that sort of armoured unit now to move. So, um, now can he reach any other 
Are there any other options? I don't think so. I suppose one, two, three. We could get to this hex or this hex, I think. I very much doubt there's any other option. Yeah, and here's this old one about the tactical adjustment cropping up again here. So he moves one, two, three, four into here, or he moves one, two, three, four into here. Now, going there. Uh, this is actually closer to his army objective. But tactically adjusting things, this is an empty hex. Now, they're both across the river, so there's nothing we can do about that. He can't reach any of the hexes across the river. Um, but although this hex is, is one hex further from his army objective, uh, now, just about, it's moving a bit north. Let me just double check the distance. Yeah, it's still two hexes closer to his army objective moving into here than where he is. So, one, now there's no any fancy, one, two, three, four, yeah, there's, you can't grab any other detachments, I don't look, I can't see any in there that you could get, you can't get any of this one, so. So one, two, three, four into there. Um, so, I'll just pause that, I mean, I can't see there being an issue with that, because that infantry unit is still in Twapong. And again, all, all the area around this, back here a little bit, it's still all, it's still all kind of covered. There's nothing being opened up yet that I can see. Um, I need to, the, the allied units need to start moving a bit more east to cause, start causing trouble with that. But I'm not quite sure they're in that position just yet. They're still holding this offensive off. Um, Uh, okay, so that's unit number seven. Yeah, so unit four is actually here, is underneath this unit. Let me put him on top just now. Um, he's already adjacent to Havalon, so, so it's not as he can break out and get, you know, he, he, I think if he could head towards Dino, if he could get adjacent to Dino, he would, but I mean, he, he can't. He's, He's not got another option. So next one might be unit eight though, but as you can see, he could move up towards Havalange as well. Um, yeah, that's the only thing he can do. So it's just finding the hex he'd like to get to. Uh, okay, so the only hex he could get to is this one or this one. Can't get into this, this is surrounded, this hex. So it's three movement in there, three movement in there. This would be one hex closer to his army objective. Both the hexes are occupied. I don't think it, it stipulates being least number of units, does it? My worry is here though, maybe this is what I should look at rather than go and try and find out what hex he's going to move into. It's hot in here. Um, now at the moment, I'll supply. No, hang on. Bad camera work again. Never make a good camera on Udo. Yeah, I suppose you, you're trying to do two things at once though, aren't you? Um, so, yeah, the moment he can't trace into this hex, because we've got this um, 58 core unit. But I think as soon as he moves, well, if he moves to there, yeah, Allied Supply is traceable. It doesn't matter which one he moves to actually, does it? Yeah, our supply is now going to be traceable to Houghton. So, in actual fact, he isn't going to move. Uh, where was he? He was there, wasn't he? Um, one. Oh, damn. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was there. <laughs> Yeah, it was there. So, so he can't. He certainly can't make that move. Um, right. So, let's see what would be next to look at. Because I think there is another possibility. I think. Pretty sure this unit twenty six. That could move towards Zufi as well and get closer. Um, I suppose we need to consider the order. So hang on a sec. Yeah, so the next one able to make, well, <coughs> method two anyway, as this uh, second panzer unit, um, unit two, uh, well, selector number 26. 
So again, moving to Ufe. You could reach either of these two hexes, but again, that's it, because we've got the river in the way. Uh, this time there's not an empty hex. So if he can reach here, which I think he can, I think that's when he's going to go for it. It's going to be one hex closer to his army objective. Um, can we go any funky moves? One, two, three, four, five. No, that's one short. Can't grab that. So, yeah, I can't do anything. One, two, three. So he's, he's going to end up in here. And leave a detached. Oh, that reminds me, I did put a comment about missing a detachment and a hex. Uh, 2008 it was. Yeah, I was down here, I remember watching back and I put a comment in the start of the YouTube video. Um, I think it was the unit that came across the river here. Uh, I just... Again, I, you see me miss, miss them, well, I do anyway. You see me miss them quite a lot. I suppose you're thinking about other things. And anyway, that's that fixed. Yeah, I'm just having a look back there. There was no issue in this unit moving from there. He's got German bridges either side of him. And adjacent to a German town, so... Yeah. There's nothing. It's not opening anything up at all. Okay, so I get the film more done with movement method two. There's two units around Bastogne as well, but they are, yeah, they're adjacent to Bastogne, so, and they've not got the movement to, they're just infantry units, they've not got the movement to leave there and go and adjacent to another um, VP hex. So I'll move on, see if I can find something else. Uh, just came down to open supply line, that's movement method four, I don't think we've had to put it to any use yet and, and we don't here as well but um, I did look at this German unit surrounded um, he's got a unit adjacent now and he can trace well he can trace supply but not reserve supply um, yeah but that's not what it's asking anyway so um, you can trace supply in the unit in the same hex and away pretty much, you know, I don't think there's, there's an issue there. Um, but it got me thinking about the restrictions and if I wanted to move this unit elsewhere, would I do that? You know, imagine this unit is, moves away, then this unit then can't trace supply. And I thought there might have been something within the restrictions, but there's not that I can see. Um, which I maybe found was a little bit odd. Um, the fact that I'm moving that, like I say, move, if I move that unit away, that unit won't be able to trace supply. So, however, the, however, they do have a movement method within uh, what we're just looking at open supply line that could maybe move another unit in there, I suppose, if the unit moved away. But I mean, that's a, it's possible this unit can move away after you've considered movement method 4 I mean, you know, maybe anyway, just something that caught my eye right, uh, so moving on so starting to be going on to the, move, the infantry moves now nah, so nothing doing with any of them no. oh, I wasn't going to bother but only when I, I had looked at the possibility it was um, movement method 9, relieve detachment that's another one I don't think with Oops, sorry. I don't think we've uh, done before. Um, this was quite close, though. Um, it says, move active infantry units each to heights with a German detached marker to which an allied unit is proximate and to which German supply can be traced. Stop there and remove the marker. Um, well, look, this guy is adjacent. to. He's in his own control, so he's having a break of that. So he can go one. He can only reach this detachment, which is two. And... I, I, an allied unit's got to be approximate one, two, three. So he's, I mean, yeah, he's, he's to be honest, he's not really, not really close at all because he can't go in there. Um, it was close. There was, there was two or three attack. Deta well, for instance, this detachment, this allied unit's proximate to this, but this guy just didn't have the. It's one, two. It breaks on a control three, so he didn't quite have the movement to get there. Just one shot. So, um, I suppose that's what 
that's why I was looking at it. It was quite close to being able to uh, make that move. Okay, so on to 10 to 13 movement methods and unit number four is the lowest, so he's gonna he's gonna be done first. Yeah, pretty sure if unit four is not doing anything, he's happy where he is, I think. Adjacent to Avalanche. They might have a go at this again. Um yeah, can't move via movement arrows. Can't get close to his army objective. There's too many allies units locking him in. He can't infiltrate. There's nowhere for him to go. He has started with another unit, but there's no, there's no available hex, and he's already adjacent to now unit. So he's going to stay put there. Um, so unit number eight. Well, let's just talk about the camera there. He would be next, I believe. Um, because of the hotting situation, you'll not be able to move via arrows. Nice, thanks. Ooh, could he move to this hex? I don't want to move them, but like, I find myself forgetting where they are <laughs> lately. Um, could he move to here? Getting one hex close at his army objective. No, he couldn't, because then allied supply. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, no, he can. Because supply can't be traced into this hex because of this unit. And it wouldn't. Right, let's, let's just move the unit to see. If we moved it there, he's one, two, three, four, five, six away from there. So there is one, two, three, four, five away. Um, and yeah, allied supply still can't be traced. You can't go into this hex because, um, yeah, so he could go there. Could he go? No, he can't end up going in here, could he? Because then we go supply trace, yeah, 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 okay. Pretty sure he could get to that hex. It's one hex close to his army objective. Now, he also wants to try and move adjacent to allied unit if he can get a 3 to 1 advantage, but it's 3 against 6. Whether well, you, you know, you can count proximate units that haven't activated yet, but we know unit 4 is not moving, so. However, it's, it's not the, that's not the reason we're doing it. We're doing it because it's getting one hex close to his army objective. And there's no other hexes that you can move to do that. So I think that one's good. Infantry um, unit here, selector number nine would be next, but he's keeping this guy surrounded and the only possible move would be out and in there, keeping it surrounded. But that's, it's not any closer to his army objective. His army objective is slightly further north, so, oops. Um, so I think he's staying put. Alright, just missed, missed the detachment again, didn't I? We left the R, we came down one. That's right, wasn't it? Yeah. It's so simple to do. <laughs> For me, anyway, I don't know why. You just, I suppose you're concentrating on looking at all the, you know, is it breaking any restrictions? Is it okay? And then you just forget about that, but. Uh, okay, um, th what was on 9, I've done 9, yeah, 13 is in Twapon, but I just had a look at that, and so I don't think there's, um, I'll zoom right out there and let these guys have a look, but I don't see there being an issue with this unit moving out of Twapon. I just took him away from there and thought, right, if he's not there, is there a problem? Um, and I don't think there is, there's not a road that they, that you could trace four to that would get alley supply that I can see so I'm going to think he's okay and can move with his arrows now there's a primary arrow up that way but this is the one I missed before it's a six with a B so admittedly if he was a six the bridge is good now so if he was a six then um, he could go up that way but he's not but there's a second arrow this way so there's no other arrow option there, which is maybe a little strange, primary six arrow, secondary only, other arrow, but however, 
So one into there, then we got a primer arrow back in here for two, and then a primer arrow in there for three. So I think one, two, three is his normal movement. Um, what have I done with the control marker? Is that there? Okay, yeah, I must have moved it to look at, <laughs> look at the bridges, right. Um, and we're going to leave detachment and twip on. I can't see any problems with twip on. And then, so he could extend as an R2, potentially, right? His primary would be in Vermont. Uh, his primary would be in there, which he's not allowed to extend to. So we've now got a look. If you look secondary here, and then primary here, he wouldn't be allowed. So we're sticking with the primary. This is the one that knocks him up. Eh? Yeah, this happened before with the... I think it was this unit that came back down again, wasn't it? So he's going to extend one into there and then into here. This is a little bit of an odd move, I suppose. So that was, he was here, so primary arrow into Verbamont. And then he can't take the primary arrow, but he wants to try, and, well, this is the way I see it. He wants to try and use as much, much of the movement as he can. So secondary arrow into there. And yeah, that took that attachment away. So all good. I'm getting a low battery. I think there's something wrong with this charger. It's not charging things. Hopefully that's it charging again. Well, actually, I'm I'm running out of time here anyway. Um, yeah. In fact, I'm gonna have to stop now. I think. Uh, so that was unit. What was that, 13? Yeah, I'm not gonna have quite the time just to finish this off, but I'll I'll tag it on. Um, I'll tag it on, you guys will know, not it's any different. Um, Cause I'm gonna go off to watch the England-Germany game. And, uh, well, I'll let you guys think about what I'm, who I might be supporting this evening. And we'll just leave it at that. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, well, I'll just cut the video here now, guys, but hopefully I'll just join it on. I'll not leave this at the end of a part, so, um, okay, I'll catch up later. Cheers. Hi, all. Right, let's get back to finishing off the, this 47th activation. Uh, right, just double check back. Uh, it was yesterday that I finished this off. Um... 13 was the last unit we moved and we're on to movement methods 10 to 13 so we're just going through them one at a time so next one's going to be selector number 14 which is infantry unit just outside Bastogne uh, so here's unit 14 I'm just noticing I, I mentioned yesterday that I had an issue with charging my phone and I thought it was the actual charging lead but it seems to be the USB socket I've got it plugged in on my laptop and every time I move it, it's kind of going off and on, and I'm going to have to do something about that anyway. Uh, maybe an extension lead and just <clears throat> plug it into the main somewhere. Okay, well, persevere. Um, so, 14. Right, I think he, he's going to head off now, isn't he? Um... Yeah, no, because he's not restricted. The the other two units are keeping the bastone surrounded. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to move off. Right, so he's got a primary arrow with a B this way, and this bridge is good, so he can take that. So, one, two, because he's breaking zone of control, and three primary arrow across the bridge. We'd leave him in there for his normal movement. Um leave a detachment and then he can extend that another two uh, by going primary and then secondary uh, sorry primary primary and it there so that looks pretty straightforward um, yeah don't think he has any issues in doing that okay so on um, I think there's a 15 yeah he's just outside Dufy though hang on Oh, right, hang on, sorry. Did I get that? I pretty much did get on camera. It's when I zoom in, I, I like to try and zoom in and then I forget about it. And then, yeah, so just to, just in case, 
One, two, breaking zone of control. Three there, that completes his full movement, following arrows. And then primer arrow in there, primer arrow in there to finish the movement with the extended move. Again, following primary arrows. And he leaves a, a detachment there. Okay, let's find unit uh, 15 now. Uh, so, here's unit 15. Can't move via movement arrows, movement arrows in AUFA. And it just then reminded me about the restriction about leaving a, an, an adjacent VP hex. Or even the adjacency of a VP hex. Is that a word? Um, do not move a unit starting adjacent to VP hex occupied by other units with strength 5 or less. Unless moving to another hex adjacent to the same VP hex. Um, one that I've forgot about in the past, I think. Uh, just wondering if any issues have cropped up with that and thus activation of two. Yeah, well, we just moved away from Bastogne, didn't we? Although they've got too much strength, haven't they? Um, they've got strength five or less. Nah, there's plenty of strength in Bastogne, isn't there? I know this is off camera, we're just having a week. I think it's 11. Yeah, there's 11 strength in Bastogne, so we're okay with that. Uh, one I need to keep rem to remember that one because uh, yeah, I don't think I moved any of the other units away from VP hexes or did I? No, don't think so. So, but this would be relevant. So the only thing he could have maybe done was come out and in and came to another hex that was maybe closer to his army objective. That's not going to be the case here and plus he's not going to movement to do it. Because it'd be two into the woods hex and then our two back into the forest. So, oh wait a minute, he's uh, he's armored. Sorry, um, I'm thinking infantry. Uh, well, that's even worse than it. It's three. Yeah, it's three. No, it's four into there. Yeah, yeah. No, he definitely can't. He can't do it another way either. No, both the hexes are. Yeah, but even still, this getting to this hex is not close to his army objective. It's down that way. So, can't move the arrows, can't get closer to his army objective because he's restricted from moving away from that VP hex. Um, and then, can't infiltrate, and he's already adjacent to an allied unit. So, uh, that's him done. He's just going to stay put. Uh, what are we up to? That was 15, wasn't it? Um, okay, give me a sec. Uh, okay, I think this is the last three. 21 here, 28 and 29. So, but they've also got the same restriction. Uh, this is, there's five strength in here, but it is five or, five or less. So, we can't move away from that. Um, VP town, unless we're moving to a different hex. This guy over here is surrounded, so it's not as if he can sneak through here. And none of these guys can get around. So, yeah, I don't think, the, the, because of the restriction, they're not going to be able to move at all. So, yeah, even infiltration. Again, this is this is the one that was stabbed with Unit 4, but there's no hex to infiltrate to. Well, Unit 4. Unit 4 would have tried that if, it, if, if there was an option. Um, okay, I think that's all the movement complete then. Um, that's all I can see. I did look at Unit 9 and it's Bastogne. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I just, for some reason thought maybe I'd forgot about that guy, but I do remember considering if he came out and in, but he wasn't going to be any closer to his army objective. So, so he just had to sit put as well. Um... Right, okay, so we'll check. Well, we've got... This isn't going to be... Well, we do have we do have assault coordination in the support card box, so we do have to consider any adjacent units. So, doing the check here, we need we are included in this unit, so it'd be 8 strength. So, but like I've just said, that's 11 in there, pretty sure. And there's no reserve units to consider. So, right, I'll have a wee look and see what we've... Got. Okay, so unit four, I think he's the worst one, isn't he? Got a seven there, but yeah. He's the first one to consider. So he's going to be the lead unit, check in 
Right, well, here we go. You could check here, here, or here. Now, obviously, these two checks are going to be made just by him and the unit he's stacked with. So, both of them are going to be 7 against 3. Now, again, we, we do consider a salt coronation. Um, but there's nothing that would be relevant to... Right, let's just look at this one first. So, it's 7 against 3. He's adjacent to an ally supply unit, so he's going to get a, going to get a plus one for that. So that's seven against four, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that would be it. And then the same is going to be here, so that's going to be seven against four there. So let's just see what we've got here then, because this is five strength. So this is going to be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven against five. Um, he's going to plus one as well, I'm going to gain six. Oh, I'm going to have to get my calculator out this time, I'm going to. Um, <laughs> seven against four, seven against four, or, well, they're both the same, so how we would decide between the two, there's maybe a tiebreaker for that, but let's, let's work out which, which one we're considering first. Right, okay, I think I've, Got the way of working that out. All you do is divide the two numbers, is that right? <laughs> Sorry, it sounds like there should be a simple kind of maths thing that I should know. I'm a grown man after all, but <laughs> it wasn't my best subject at school, shall we say. So, yeah, I think that is right. Well, let's see. Yeah, because if I divide, you know, if you know you've got 2 to 1, so 6 divided by... 3 is obviously 2 to 1, yeah, okay, I think that's right, isn't it? Um, yeah, so the two sums were uh, 7 divided by 4, that's 1.75 to 1, I think. And 11 divided by 6 works out at 1.83 to 1. So the odds are slightly better. I mean, the game doesn't change between the two, but I, I'm I'm assuming you would still use the odds just in case there's anything else that then changes. Uh, so obviously 1.83 to one is better than 1.75 to one. So it is indeed the case that this unit, as a lead unit, is going to make a check on here and include these other units. Now this is what we need to watch regarding what Martin said, because we need to also remember that if the check fails there, if it happens to fail, then, okay, this unit can't be a lead unit to check these other units, but this unit could then become the lead unit and do a check on, well, one of these two, uh, once we found out what the tiebreaker was between the two. But uh, I might end up, this is just gonna be an attack anyway, so. So let's work that out then, so. Um, well, so we've got one and a half to one. We've got one point eight three to one. So we've got one and a half to one. So they're they're the numbers that we need to be worried about. Um, yeah, so it's not great odds. Yeah, and even though we do have a salt coordination as a salt uh, support card combat tactic, there's no other units involved uh, that could be. But you would calculate them then as well. So we're starting with what we've got. Um, and then, is there any modifiers? Oh, do we include elites? Well, they've got elites anyway. Don't think we do have an elite, do we? Oh, we do. Uh, you're not underneath elite, but he's got elite as well, so I think that cancels out, doesn't it? Attacker includes elites and defenders, no elites. Well, that's not the case. Um, it's not an army on army group card. The support card shows applicable combat tactic. Um, well, yes, it does. It's got artillery and assault coordination. So that's a minus one to that. So we're basically one and a half to one with a minus one. So we need a low roll. Well, that's a four, so it's possible, do you know that. Um, because it's, we do have a minus one, so it's a three, isn't it? So cancel it if less than one and a half to one or attacking from one hex. So yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna go this one. Um, Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so this attack's going ahead. So we're going to draw a combat tactic for them. Now, this is where we kind of we don't really want artillery or assault coordination to come up. And um, I, I say both of them now as well because it has been confirmed by John with that latest set of Martin's questions that um, if it matches anything on the support card, the support card will not be getting used. So, so here we go. And they've got infantry infiltration, which is, that's what we want. We want something like that. I mean, it does mean they're going to bring artillery as well, but using that six panzer army card, I think, is, for a combat tactic, is going to be so much better for us. Uh, so infantry infiltration is not helping at all, I don't believe. Uh, it's a town, they're not attacking from one hex, so... So yeah, that was a pretty good one to draw. Um, so then, yeah, they are. They're going to use a six panzer army card, which is going to bring along artillery. I mean, assault coordination does not help them, but remember it does because it reduces one of the a, a hit they might take. So. That's really pretty good. All they're getting is artillery in the combat and getting an extra two combat... Uh, well, an extra three. But I mean, the other two combat tactics are just supplying chips, shall I say. Well, and that... Yeah, reduced hit, I suppose. Okay. Right, Grant. Let's go on that. Um, okay, so we've got the opportunity to put a card now, but let's work out what's all happening. Well, nothing's changed there. It's still... Um, Four, eight, nine, oh, um, no, no, it's 11 to 5 now, isn't it? Because we're not situationally checking. So we've got 7, 11 to 5. Yeah, so that does take it into 2 to 1 odds. Um, now, would it have been 2 to 1 odds down? What did we have? 7 against 4. It would have been 7 against 3. It would have been the same odds, yeah, it would have been there. Eh? Um, but I mean, my guess was it was just slightly higher when you checked, checked the actual numbers when you done the sums. Unless I done the sums wrong, of course. I think I think that's right. Okay, so two to one odds, right? Chip pools is going to be one, two, three, four units. There is an elite, so that's going to be five, and then there's one, two, three combat tactics. So it's going to be. Eight chip pools, so a lot of chip pools, and um, only two to one odds. But this is an important hex, so I think we probably want to chuck something into this. Um, we've got three steps. It's all infantry, and they're a wee, and they're in a town, so we're gonna get a soak up a hit. But I feel like I might want to be doing something here. So let me have a wee think. Um, what have I got? I've got reinforced battle. Is that possible? That's what it is, isn't it? Uh, artillery. Now they've already played artillery, so there's that. Engineers is not going to be any good, is it? Tank battalion. It's tempting. That would knock the odds down to one and a half to one as well, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, okay, let me know what you think. Yeah, I think I'm going to play the tank battalion and play it, and I can play it on this card. I've got the 8 core card as well that's got it, but um, it's just a division card to activate one of the divisions, and quite possibly some of them have been eliminated as well. There's one of the ninth. Well, the fifth uh, armoured aren't on the board yet, are they? I don't think they're, they're around yet. And there's one ninth Infantry unit as well, so... I think it'd only be the first... It looks like the first division are still all complete on the board, so... There's one here. Um, oh, he, there's the one in the... Wait, sorry. And I don't know where the other one is. Um, 
maybe he has been eliminated. Maybe there was one taken out. Um, no, I can't see him. There must be somewhere. Oh, is he not? Is he not the one that's in um, in here? Yeah, he is. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, I like I said, I've got the eighth core card. It's got time to tell me on it as well. But I might want to do something with the units. I feel more more likely than I would want to activate one of the divisions. This is the division card. So I think we'll play Time Battalion with that card. I mean, Reinforced Battle would have been excellent, but it's it's on the it's on the seven core card, and it's got it's the one with the special with pattern on the move, which I'm still keen on doing. But I think we'll just. Take our chances with that. Oh we? Yeah, I think I'm just double checking that is only two victory points. I say only two, but if it had been a five victory pointer and I've got to remember there is a chance of um I know two of the units are coming across the river, but there is a chance of Ufi getting attacked. He's only got three strength on him and you know, he's five victory points, so Possible, I might want to use. No, I don't know what I could use though. Right, uh, right, make your mind up, Grant. Yeah, I'm going to settle with that. So that's going to increase his strength to six. So it's 11 against six. So again, it knocks it down to that 1.8. But it's going to be one and a half to one. But I'll just put a one there. Um, and hopefully, we'll remember. Uh, and obviously the other good thing is we get armour in the battle as well. And they do have, yeah, they've got two, two units of armour there. It's just these were mechanised infantry, but they do have armour as well. And uh, it's just a shame that guy's elite down the bottom there. That would have been good. If, mind you, if we get a defender elite, chats, that would be good. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Are we? I mean, this is important, isn't it? Yeah, I just... Do I want to chuck artillery in, maybe, as well? No, no, that's it. I'm going with that. That's it. Right, eight chips. I'm going to try and find a space to put them. I'll be right along shortly. Oh, that was... I was panicking there. The first two chips were attacker elite. Unbelievable. And then I got only attack and combined arms, so just as well we played the time battalion. And then obviously these didn't count a flank attack because it's in a town. Got a less than three to one, it was greater than five to one in the back. Then got a large attack and I'm like, oh I'm sitting at D3. I thought I needed something and I finished with a city town chat. Um I was gonna drop it back to D two, isn't it? So it's it's still pretty bad, like for the odds that they had. And the good thing is I've got A2 on it. Well, that's going to get reduced, isn't it? Because of the salt coordination. So I'm only going to get A1 on them. So it does mean I'm going to have to take a hit on one of the units. Well, more than likely, the fifth core guy underneath. Right, let me just double check the numbers. Yeah, so two hits each. Um, obviously, we soak up one for the town. And then, well, we do not want to retreat. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to take it on the no, elite infantry units. Must just retreat, reduce to the. Oh no, he was reducing from a three to a two, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay, so I reduced the first division unit in the back there. Um, to hold the town. Obviously, and that was the second hit. Um, and then over to them, well, they soak up the one for the assault coronation. And now they've got to take the other one. I think it's probably the swear unit, isn't it? Because he's the only two-step unit. Yeah, he's in the start with the most steps, so he's going to take the hit. And that'll be that. Oh, these should all be... That way. To keep things right. Okay, well, oh, it could have been worse if I hadn't drawn that last check, because that would have been three hits. I would have... 
been sitting with one bracketed unit in there. Um, it's not good, but again, um, that was the other part of the reason why I didn't want to use that card. I mean, the other one was better used for Tank Battalion anyway, but just that I could activate them and bring in a bit of support. You know, I can move one of the units in to have launch actually. I might well do that. Um, however, okay, right, let's clear all that away. Uh, the big plus to that is getting rid of the six Panzer Army card, so chuffed about that. Alright, so the next check is going to be here. This unit number seven. Um, uh, yeah, and the good thing is, let's say we don't have assault coronation, so that first SS unit's not getting to join the party. Well, not straight up anyway, unless we draw another one, but. And determining the odds might be a factor because both of these are coming across the river. So you've got seven across the river, so that's only three across the river. And then our two, so it's five against three. Um, I'd say that that's all he's getting, isn't it? He's not getting any. No, no assault coordination, no reserve units. Yeah. Five against three. He's not got anybody adjacent. Uh, so that could well be one and a half to one as well, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, it is. so so one and a half to one odds. A sec. And uh, modifiers. He's a weak. He's a weight that himself anyway, so that's not going to be. Um, this isn't an army group card, and there's no support card, so there's no modifiers to this. So it's just a one and a half to one, so we really need less than a, a three or less, I think. Right, here we go. Ah, that's like ten, so quite happy that one's not going ahead, like. Yeah, I'm realizing that I really could do supporting that. Um, I mean, I do have seven core, or even, yeah, I could bring that cavalry unit down into there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, so so that was this lead unit checking here. So, I mean, when it comes around, yeah, these these guys have got no no other. They can't check the same unit again. So, um, right, unit eight. He's just here, but he's not going to get any result. He's three against the six there, so that's a no. Um, uh, and then the other one, Bastone. Well, we know that's not happening either. Eh? That's unit number nine. That's four. Now he's lost his old coordination. So it's four against 11 or something, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the checks we made. Um, so, the units that haven't done anything, we've got this armoured unit there, who can indeed build an IP. He's stacked himself, so he's not going to be bouncing back to reserves. And the other unit is um, the unit outside Bastogne, who, who is on his own as well, but both of them can build an IP now. We're on the 20th, so... They get to do that. And so does the unit outside Bastogne. Yeah, okay. Right, that's took about three parts to finish that impulse, but uh let's see getting rid of the six panzer army cart. I suppose getting the forty seventh corps along with the six panzer army car, you know, getting a big corps like the forty seventh or the first SS, second SS is more likely you're gonna have a combat. So you're going to use that six pounds on my card, and the the downside to it, I suppose, if you draw a matching combat tactic, and now that it has been clarified, that's a that's a big rule actually, Martin. If you think about it, you know, initially you had said and I disagreed with, and then you you thought maybe that was right, and now John's finally confirmed that if any of the combat tactics match, then it's getting left. I think that's quite huge, really. Um, but uh, anyway, 
However, okay, I'll clear things up there and we'll get an allied impulse along shortly, guys. Okay, uh, I'll probably cut this actually and uh, make this part of the the next part of the video um, and hopefully get uploaded soon. Okay, cheers.